Hello, so I have a joke. This is a very funny joke for people who are just talking to themselves. So, knock, knock, who's there? Only me. <laughs> well, I thought it was a bit funny. Um, so yesterday I um, had a fairly boring day. Um, a little stressed out about things. So I, it was good to go to a park with my Christian friend. Uh, really like him. The guy looks a little bit like the guy from Weekend, um, but I don't really see how he relates to his songs in any way, so I, I just want to point that out. Um, but yes, um, I am going to talk. So, um, yeah, sounds very different when I'm... Um, but yeah, um, he. we were talking about Christian Christianity, um, and apparently he actually knows about the whole thing about me thinking that I'm Christ, um, which I didn't, I've never spoken to it about him. I mean, he's Christian and he, it was an interesting co conversation because um, he um, uh, was talking about like the reasons why he, he has, is putting his faith into Jesus. You know, he's a really nice guy. Let's make this, I don't like Christianity. I don't like Christians, but he is a very nice, generous, generous person. And um you know he's he's a nice guy um but yeah he puts his faith into jesus um because the promise that you know things can get better by believing in him you believe in jesus and god will fix things and, and i get that you know i get why people would want to put their faith in in a promise of of hope um that things are going to get better and you know um i don't necessarily believe that it's what god is going to offer him but it's the promise that God is going to resolve everything and make the world like so much better. And he thinks that there's no way that humans can achieve this by themselves, which, OK, he's right. I, I don't think humans can really achieve, achieve paradise unless they learn to get on and learn to, um, you know, be more tolerant. And, um, you know, there's a lot of things and qualities of, of how to make a world perfect. Um, but I feel like a lot of people would need to, you know, agree with me and, you know, not just judge people by first sight or, or not jump to conclusions. You know, there's a lot of things that I can teach um, through, through these things. Um, but yeah, I know a lot of people are not going to want to believe in me or, or see me as Christ because I don't promise a, a, a quick fix and I don't promise that, you know, God is going to fix everything. You know, I, I think humans have to do it. Otherwise, it's not going to be done. Um, and um, but yeah, just because someone wants to believe that God is going to come and fix everything, um, that doesn't mean that that's going to happen. And I feel like, OK, there's this hope that um, that, you know, God is going to come and fix everything. And this makes people feel better. And it, it feels an emptiness that they have inside of them because of believing in something. But at the end of the day, just because you believe something that doesn't mean it's going to happen. You know, I, I actually feel a huge amount of excitement at the thought of it raining snicker bars, you know, the thought of it just raining snicker bars and I can just like eat snickers all day long. I mean, that's, that sounds amazing, but if it's not going to happen, if it's not the truth, then is there any point in like putting my hope or faith in it? So that would be the argument that I would make, you know, I believe that I'm Christ and I've got so much evidence to prove this. Um, if you watch my videos, which is strange because he had not actually watched the video full of evidence. And I would have thought that that would have been the main video you'd watch because that's like the first one. Um, but yeah, um, I have evidence that I am Christ through the things that I've seen and my telling of the Bible and how to understand it. You know, um, the stories are not are not about nice, good people. They're actually about evil, kind of disgusting people. And, um, you know, notice a constant theme throughout the whole Bible that the good people are actually bad people. And, you know, I feel like there's it okay, doesn't prove that I'm Christ, but it, it proves that I'm seeing things that, that the Christians are not seeing. Um, but they're not seeing it because I think that their belief that this is real and that God is going to come and, and fix things is some, somehow somehow a comfort. But I, I don't get I don't get how how believing in the Bible stories is a comfort to people because the Bible stories are evil and the people in it are evil and the God of it is evil. Um, and I, I feel like they're not seeing the truth about what the stories, you know, what God does in the stories and, and everything like this. And, um, you know, I, I think he believes, he loves the idea of just believing that, you know, just believe in Jesus and everything will be fine. 
and yeah I think that the reality of that is just that's not that's not the reality <laughs> there's no reality in that um and you know yes humans are there's they're terrible people in the world and I think there is a fix, but it's not really one that's going to end very pleasantly. I think there's too many people in the world. And the reason why the quality of souls are pretty bad is because there's too many people in the world. Um, and, um, you know, we all evolved from small things like my fish. You know, I've got one guppy fish that basically just has sex with anything that would allow it to have sex with. And that's my orange one has started even having sex with the, with the guppies. So and that's not even the same sex species. So, um, yeah, I don't know that you start off like that and, and then you evolve and get smarter over time. Um, but yeah, with the amount of bodies and stuff, every body needs a soul and I don't want to go into it, but this is the reason why there are problems. And, um, yeah, just because I give evidence that I'm Christ, I feel like there's going to be a lot of people that are so disappointed because Christ is supposed to have the answers or, or, you know, come with the truth. Um, and they're longing for Christ to come with the truth but they believe that the truth is that God is going to fix everything. And that isn't the truth. And there's going to be a lot of Christians that do not want to hear my message, do not want to believe my message, do not want to support me in any way. Why? Because I take this, something that's filled up, they, you know, their hope of, of God coming and fixing everything. You know, if Christ turns out to be me and my, my way of fixing things is just like, uh, you have to do it yourself or you have to learn, you have to, you know, try to be a nicer person and, and, you know, respect other people. And, you know, if you, if you start hating others, you know, this karma is going to end up coming back to you and you're only going to end up hating yourself. Um, you know, if I tell people this, they're not going to believe me, but if I tell people this and I'm Christ, then they might more likely to believe me, but are they going to care? I, I don't know. So, um, I, I don't know what the future is and I don't know what the plan is, but I know that my, if I'm Christ, then I'm going to be a massive disappointment to the majority of Christians. That's one of the reasons why I hate them, because I know that I am Christ. I know that I'm God and I'm going to be a massive disappointment to any Christian. Um, and yeah, he doesn't believe that I'm Christ, not because I might not be, but just because my message is not one of, of hope and, and quick fix solution and stuff like this. And I, and I get that. I get that. But um, at the end of the day, surely it's better to have the truth than, than lies, right? Anyway. <laughs>